Hi again everyone. Today we're going to be working with proportions, which is actually pretty much what we've been doing so far. <clears throat> proportions are equations that say that two ratios are equivalent. Proportion is actually where we get the term proportional from. Now bear with me for a little bit because I'm going to give you some variables and some more abstract words. Um, and then lead into the more concrete numbers that y'all are used to working with. We've got the word cross product. Now, even though I'm teaching middle and high school right now, <clears throat> this is introduced pretty early on to solve for unknown variables. What a cross product says is Say we've got the ratio A to B is equal to C to D. What's actually happening here is I don't I don't want to work with division. It tends to get a little bit messy. Some of you may some of you may be familiar with this. I can keep this equivalency by multiplying B and C together as well as A and D together. Now, Mr. McDougall, hmm, why does that work? Well, I'll let you know. Just like you would with a standard number, I've got A over B is equal to C over D. I want to get rid of the B on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by B over 1. My next step is going to give me A is equal to B times C all over D. Now, a little bit messy still. I want to get rid of this denominator here, because again, I don't want to divide. That's just too much work. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the denominator aka flip it. So b over 1 times d over 1 on this side and I'm left with a times d is equal to <coughs> C. Now, if I'm correct, and I really hope I am, which I am, yeah, I definitely am, that's a little quick proof that says that those two are going to be equivalent. This is why, a pretty easy example of saying why we can do cross products. Now, <clears throat> let's try to toss in some numbers there. I want to know if my fraction, let's say 3 fourths, is equivalent to 6 over 8. Well, let's see here. Let's look at our cross products. That would be 4 times 6 is equal to Again, keeping the same form, 3 times 8. 6 times 4 is going to be 24. 3 times 8 is going to be 24. Are those two equivalent? Yes. So, doing that little quick cross product, I can say, yes, those two ratios are proportional. 
Let's try another one. How about, well, let's toss this test aside. Get another one here. How about five over two is equivalent to 15 over six. Let's look at my cross products. I love color coding, guys. It makes it so much easier to see. I have uh, attention problems at times, so this kind of helps me clarify myself. 2 times 15 is equal to 5 times 6. Let's see what we got here. 2 times 15 is 30. 5 times 6 is 30. Are those two equal? Yes, they are. Now, again, I like to give non-examples because it helps to see the system work all the time. Let's try to figure out, is 1, -sixth, one, sorry, one to 6 proportional to 2 to 7? Well, let's, again, let's take a cross product here. One times seven is equal to six times two. Hmm, is seven equal to 12? I don't think so. So those are not proportional. Let's see here. Now, that's, that's pretty balanced stuff. Mr. McDougall, I wanna know what I do if I've got maybe an unknown person. If I've got a ratio that says a person is going to be, let's see, height-wise, their head is going to be uh, one unit long compared to their body of seven units long. I don't know. I'm just pulling numbers out of nowhere. If I know, let's see, that's their head, that's that unit, and here's the body. If I know that the ratio is 1 to 7, and I know that their body is 56 inches tall, sure, that's a decent sized person. I know this, but I don't know this. Let's give it a variable. It's our unknown. I want to figure out my cross products here. I want to figure out what this is, so I'm going to use cross products. 1 times 56 is equal to 7 times x. Or 56 is equal to 7x. Uh -huh, this is starting to look a little familiar, isn't it? Hmm, let's see here. If some of you don't understand or don't remember what I do in class all the time, I want to isolate the variable. To do that, I'll toss in my opposite operation here. Divide both sides by 7. Again, you can, you can write it as a fraction. You can give yourself a little division symbol. Whatever helps you sleep at night. If I divide both sides by 7, this is now x. Divide 56 by 7, I get 8. Okay, I've got that. I've got that the x is going to be 8 units. Now, can we check to see if that's proportional? Yes, we can. Let's come all the way back, take this, uh, this variable, plug it in. 1 over 7, 8 over 56. Let's check our cross products, see if the math works. Guys, this is why I like getting into mathematics, because... If you've got the time, you can almost always find out if your answer is right. 1 times 56, 7 times 8. Is 56 equal to 56? You bet your gosh darn rear end it is. And that is our quick introduction on how to find out whether two ratios are equivalent, proportional. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.